Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Capricorn. This is just an update, um, I'd say like from the 12th to whenever, okay? So, you know, the timing is fluid. So this is just an up update for the sign of Capricorn for the, you know, next week or two, something like that. Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So what do we got? I happen to be Capricorn Moon. Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What do we got? Oh, Five of Swords reversed. So this is, I just want to be happy. This is letting go of ego. And I got nothing left to prove. I just want to be happy. So somebody may be giving up a fight of some sort because this is the end of a power struggle. This is also severing ties. So somebody could be severing ties with somebody. Now, this is all about happiness, though. It's like it's a somebody has been trying to win at all costs. They don't care who they hurt. Okay? Here, it's about... It's not about winning anymore. It's about happiness. Oh. Oh. Well, okay. So this is unhealthy. Somebody's this is a toxic situation. Somebody has been ruled by an unhealthy energy. Somebody has been um Letting ego get in the way. They have been... Uh, very manipulated. Somebody has been manipulating. Somebody has been trying to control. Somebody has been ruled by greed, obsession, lust. This is unhealthy. This is an unhealthy, toxic energy. Capricorn. This is not good. It's not. Addictions. Now, this is about wisdom, becoming consciously aware, seeing the light. Could be dealing with a Virgo, sun, moon, rising, or Venus. So this is a very wise individual who is consciously aware. This is a conscious awareness. Now, this is seeing things differently. This is uh, becoming aware. It's a time of introspection. Becoming self-aware, becoming aware through stillness and re reflection. Somebody is realizing something. They are. They may be realizing that something is unhealthy. They may be realizing that something is toxic. Because this is, I just want happiness. I want everybody to be happy. Somebody may be realizing that. We can only hope and pray. This is a very wise, wise individual who uh, has become enlightened. So somebody is becoming enlightened. This is like good versus evil. Good versus evil here. Whoa. Three of swords reversed. Now this is coming out of a painful situation. It's time to heal. Now this is also a card of forgiveness. Oh, well, that's hard, isn't it? I know it is. So this is a card. Forgiveness is needed. You know, sometimes when people don't handle things in the right manner, you know, there's consequences for that. But anyhow, this is forgiveness is needed. It's time to heal. And this is a card of healing. And this is a card of healing. It's healing a toxic situation. So there's an opportunity to heal an unhealthy situation here. Somebody has been 
having some sort of addictions, 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 and lust, and greed, and obsession, and selfishness, and manipulation, and control is coming to a head this week. Now, somebody's been resisting change, and they have been refusing to take a new approach. They've been trying to prove a point of some, some sort, but this is changing direction. It's getting unstuck. It is realizing. It is enlightenment. So somebody has been enlightened. I think there's been a time of, of reflection here, and somebody is receiving some sort of... Uh, enlightenment somebody has been trapped somebody has been trapped in their head somebody has been stuck somebody has been it's basically I mean this is my prison card there could have been some jealousy issues these are both cards of jealousy somebody may have been jealous of another person Now, somebody is reevaluating something. It's a time of reevaluation this week. If this is letting go of the past hurts, letting go of the pain, there may have been a painful separation, or there may be an upcoming painful separation. Somebody has been resisting, but now it's just time to be happy and start the healing process. Somebody has been trapped in a, in, a, in a situation that they could escape from, but they were choosing to self-medicate, perhaps. Not seeing the truth. You see the blindfold. But now somebody is becoming awakened. So somebody was wearing a blindfold. They may have been keeping another person trapped out of obsession. Ten of Cups reversed. There's a change in the family. So this is a family feud. <laughs> Imagine that shit. So anyway, um, this is this is relationship problems. Children leaving. Somebody, a child could be leaving. This is a family change in the family dynamics. It doesn't have to be a child, but this could be a change of home, a change in, in your family. Okay? The end, it could be, well, it's the... It's, it's a completion, something big in, in, in your family dynamics. There's no victory here. Six of Wands reversed. Now, this is there's no progress being made. Somebody didn't recognize. There is a lack of respect. Somebody didn't act with a nobility. And now there's no victory and there's no success. Now, this is somebody that is very, very wise, that is seeing something very clearly. It's like the light is being shown. This is an elder. So this is an elder that is very much awakened. This person is wide awake. This person has a lot of experience. This person is an older person. It's like they see that somebody is trapped. Oh, my God. Take a look at that. Somebody's been scared, depressed. And here it's extremely. When it's reversed, it's extremely dep depressed. This is, okay, so let's just, I just wanted to show you the card. So this is depressed, scared, very scared. What's going to happen next? What's going to happen next? Well, I don't, I'm so scared. Extremely scared. Somebody knows it. Somebody has seen it. So that we have like an elder here that is seeing the situation completely clearly. That somebody is trapped and scared. Somebody has been trapped and scared. They haven't been seeing a situation clearly. They've been wearing a blindfold. They've been in denial. They've been keeping themselves. Or they've been keeping another person trapped because of some sort of... Uh, addiction some sort of obsession now when you get the devil card devil card you got to remember that everything is not as it seems somebody's been living in the shadow they've been hiding the truth okay somebody has been hiding the truth there's been no victory though there's not going to be a victory here there's not um oh my god now this is the this is the this is the death of a situation this is a dead end death of an idea or death of a person this is a dead end Somebody has been extremely uh, exhausted. 
it's time to take a break, it's time to take a rest, it's time to relax, it's time to um, really go within and start your healing process, Capricorn. This is a dead end. So this is the death of a situation. It is. It is. It's so somebody is has been in a state of mental conflict, not seeing the truth, uh, keeping themselves self there because they did not want to see the truth. They would rather hide the truth with medication or addictions or whatever. But it's like now it's time to just be happy, start the healing process, stop resisting this. They're gonna somebody is gonna stop resisting. It's gonna it's like there's nothing left to prove with both of these cards. It's like the proof is here. There's proof. So oh, there's definitely gonna be some hard feelings. I think that somebody is dealing with a lot of life challenges and needing to find the strength to deal with these challenges. Um, I think that uh, somebody is going to be very frustrated. There's this is frustration that something isn't coming together the way that they wanted it to come together. It's like there's there's no there's been no compromise here. There's been no working together, and now there, somebody's angry and upset that this is angry. That is, somebody is angry and upset that they, you know, this has come to an end. Something is coming to an end. There's, there could be some upheaval. It's like you could feel like your whole world has been turned upside down with this temperance card. There's extremes, lack of balance, lack of harmony. There's hard feelings. There's anger. With this Nine of Wands, there's great personal fear. There's overwhelming, overwhelmed. Somebody is overwhelmed, angry. There's anger here. Somebody may be very angry this week. And, and this could go vice versa. Keep that in mind. Somebody has been under another person's control. They have been trapped in a very scary, depressing situation, which has made them feel very isolated and alone. And it's like somebody is seeing it completely clearly. There's going to be a change on the home front. Um, there's no progress being made here. There's no victory. Somebody has been resisting change, but that is about to come to an end. It's time to just be happy. There's somebody who's been in a loveless situation where, you know, they weren't getting the love that they needed. And, uh... They may have acted recklessly. This is reckless behavior, taking advantage of another, taking, somebody's been taking advantage of another person. Somebody was naive and acted foolishly. They may have, uh, they, somebody could have a drinking problem or some serious addictions here. These are both addictions. Somebody acted foolishly. And now it's coming to an end. Whatever happened is coming to an end with this Four of Swords. This is a dead end. There's definitely some health issues with this card and this card and this card because of unhealthy habits. Somebody has some serious health issues here, whether it's you or the person that you're dealing with, that are definitely coming to a head this week. Somebody made some foolish decisions about love. This is a loss. And this is a dead end as well. The Page of Coins reversed and the Four of Swords are both dead end cards. Something is coming to an end. There's a dead end here. Somebody has been blocking a fresh new start. They've been blocking a new beginning. They've been blocking love. They've been blocking peace and harmony. They've been blocking somebody's success. They've been blocking somebody's happiness. And I feel as though that's coming to an end. We have a very stubborn individual. Stubborn, stubborn, stubborn. Very, very stubborn individual. Here. Oh, God, but karma is here. This is bad luck. This is bad karma. So there's been an injustice. Somebody's been treated unfairly. And I feel as though 
Somebody's going to see. Somebody's going to see. Yikes. Could be dealing with a Libra. Could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is a, this is, this is unfair treatment. This is a lack of, uh, accountability. Somebody didn't want to be held accountable for their actions. Somebody was dishonest. Somebody lied. There's lies here. Somebody's been lying. What's about a contract? Somebody hasn't been telling the truth. This is a contract. This is a contract. False karmic contract. These are both contracts. These are both not meant to be. It's it's not. Okay. It's not compatible. So I think that we have an end of a karmic contract in the next week or two. And there's probably going to be some sort of sadness. I don't know who this reading is for, but there's going to be sadness. There's going to be grieving, but there is another opportunity waiting for you to see it. Forgiveness is needed. Good luck.